We are the Hathors. Our civilization is based on healing with toning and with sound. Our civilization does many things through audio and sound, music, and all the things that are associated with vibration. We can do many miraculous things with it. Mm, thank you for coming. Um, I wonder what's your, you were uh, uh, an Egyptian deity related to Osiris. What was your role at that time? I think you have the wrong name. It was not Hathor, was it? It was, it's called Hathor. It has like ears sticking out like horizontally. Very well. There must, we are a species from another galaxy, but we do work with the earth. We work with those that are toning and with healing. Mm -hmm. We are very active in that way. Let me go back and see what, what person that was. Mm -hmm. Spouse of Osiris. Mm -hmm. Either mother or spouse, it's, it's confusing. I think it was mother. Okay. She was from our species, yes. Mm -hmm. They took on a generic mm -hmm. name right. because that is the name of our species. Mm -hmm. And so therefore, if, if that was truly her name at that time, I see that she had some great energies and she could do many things. But it was kept secret what she believed and how she acted. But her interaction with others was well known at that time. She did occasionally go back to the Hathor civilization. And she did interact with Orions and Syrians as well. She knew of the Blue Pleiadians and uh, was also friends with Blue Pleiadians and the canine species. What did you want to know about her? Thank you. Um, uh, can, is there any, anything you can teach us? Something you can share with us? Oh, about, about your art? About, yes, I can teach you many things. I can teach you that toning is a way to uh, bring great healing on great areas of land and water and sky. The powerful tonings of some of the people on your planet have cleared water, land, and sky. Sarah Oxidi is a great toner on your planet. She has been able to do many miraculous things. She is still young and still has emotional outbursts but in, when it comes to her healing ability there is no question she is far and above the rest for Tony. There are others that do Tony that are very effective as well but she has cleansed portions of the Atlantic and the Pacific Ocean and mountains and ranges and fields she is really quite amazing. She's been to many places in the world. Ireland, England, Florida, California. Can you teach something that we can use? How about if I do some toning? Yes, and um, how to use it. All right, you set your intention first. What is it that you would want us to heal? Where is, is there a place of pain? Is there a place that is needing sound and vibration to heal it? I think the main um, novelty here is um, electromagnetic pollution. 
it's like pollution from cell phone towers and things of that sort. Ah, we can help with that. You will feel the cleansing of the air after we tone. You will notice, and it will be noteworthy that there will be a change in the atmosphere. Okay. All right? And Thank whoever you. hears this, there will be a change in their atmosphere as well, all around their home and within it. All right? All right, thank you. One moment, please. Oh, ah, oh. There is a change in your atmosphere. I could do more, but I felt that you were a little disturbed by that. No, I'm, I'm just analytical, not disturbed at all. I see. I'm just wondering how that can be used by us, because it was... It was what? It was too simplistic. It's uh, just two notes in octave. No, it was not that. There were several different things within each layer of the, the notes. There were not just one or two notes there. There were many different vibrations when in each of these tones. Mm -hmm. You have to know how to recreate it properly so that mm -hmm. these tones can be effective. There was not just one or two tones. It was many. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I assume there is like a a phase change and a pretty sophisticated phase change as you um, uh, open your mouth and change the pressure and the strength of tensils? Well, you have to understand that it's not just the tone, it's the vibration as well. It's the, the sense of power from the each bit of vibrational tones, the music portion, the octave within the octave, and you have to understand that there is a wide breadth of uh, movement there. So I assume the main action was happening energetically and it's not uh, visible or Correct. listenable. Yeah? Or you, it is not within your audio range. Right, right. Uh, are there any musicians that uh, that are of your tribe. That what? I mean, any of the famous, among the famous musicians, do you, can you name any uh, that are using your vibrations? Mostly operatic singers. Luciano Pavarotti used our, some of our vocal signatures. He affected people very strongly and his tonality reached into the non-hearing uh, non area. Also, Beverly Sills and Yussi Bjorling, some of your past operatic stars have been using th these tones very positively. How about Beatles? The Beatles used tonality in a way that we did in our earlier years and was very successful with it. The, but the person that actually used it was George Martin. Their producer was the one that focused in on the tones that were necessary for them to release. Uh, was it during the recording or after the recording? 
during and after. You will find that George Martin was a part of the musical essence. He wrote some of the solos and did much piano work within the Beatles' essence, and especially during the later years, during the uh, Sgt. Pepper's and Abbey Road period. Yeah, there is a lot of uh, light workers who are starting doing light languages. Yeah. Can you share? Can you share your light language? I am a monto poata. You are here, Gaga. Say, ah, you. Thank you. Did you feel that? Yeah. Good. Yeah, it, was, it was interesting. I just wonder what can we learn from you? It's uh, it's something which is. Uh, we were responsible. Yes, we were responsible for um, many of the megalithic area era of science when it comes to sound. Wow, that's so. That was done with your help. I mean, I'm I'm following megaliths. They're amazing. We taught them how to do some of them more simply. Other species, such as the Orions and Syrians, knew how to manipulate vibration and sound to lift these heavy objects. However, we made it a little easier with some of the dimensions of in depth of sound that we used. So they actually uh, accepted that learning and things became much easier for them. They were able to do it without us, but we made it easier. I just wonder, um, nowadays it's, it seems like impossible to melt granite, but uh, we see the traces of molten granite like everywhere, like uh, they, it's shaped as if it was like uh, putty, like uh, very, very soft material. Of course. So is it something that changed in our um, planet that we cannot do it anymore, or is it just the art which no. we lost? It's a piece of... It's a piece of technology that you do not have yet. It is something that you have not learned how to capture and release this kind of temperature change and be concentrated on the space that it is set to. These small beams of light are so powerful that they can melt the granite, but they're only very tiny and they have great heat. I don't think it was hot. I think it was molten uh, cold. Right. It wasn't, because I don't see it being hot. I see it being molten, uh, just like form as it is without much yeah. heating. Well, the thing is, you would have to have been there to see what I mean. But this is just a small beam, and it caused the melting. So it is fine. There are other ways to do it. Other species had their own technology and the way they would uh, do this kind of thing. We did not do much of this on your planet. I'm just telling you the way we do it. Right. But uh, I, I was under the impression it was done through meditation without much technology. You can do it that way, yes. Vibration can do all things. I see. All right, my time is over. Thank you very much for your visit. And it was nice to connect. And I invite more of your magic in, in our world. Of course. There is much to tell.
Goodbye for now. Goodbye. Thank you much. Good day. Hello?